different here. Emily Gracie joins us up for this morning's hometown hot spot where there have some, uh, well, some things are buzzing around. Maybe not yet, but it soon will be buzzing around you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's dark, so it doesn't matter, guys, because we've got a night glider out there right now. Check it out. This is amazing. Isn't that beautiful flying around in the night sky? It's going to be light soon, so we'll get to see these uh, other planes flying around. But I want to talk to Bob about what's happening here this weekend. You guys are giving back to the community, right? Because you come here all the time, but people don't get to see this. That's right. Good morning. This is a, a Baltimore County Park. So as a community fly-in, we give back to the community. We allow the community members to come watch what we do, but also get their hands on a radio and fly one of the planes themselves under the guidance of an instructor. So it's a no, it's a no risk deal. So tell me about some of the planes that we're looking at behind us here. Well, there's planes and helicopters of all shapes and sizes, as small as a 12-inch wingspan. The largest is the Yellow Paper Cub that has a, about a 12 inch, 12 foot wingspan. Uh, ba all battery-operated gas uh, engines, um, some scale war planes, aerobatic planes. You see the helicopters. There's also uh, uh, just some uh, um, made-up designs uh, that people put together themselves. And uh, we all have fun. They'll all fly a little bit differently, so you learn different flying skills. You're hoping to recruit some people out this weekend as well, right? <laughs> Absolutely. We've been doing this event for 17 years, wow. and we always manage to get a few members out of it just because they come, have fun, try it themselves. Our motto here is have fun and fly. All right. Well, I can't wait to have fun the rest of the morning. This girl's going to try our hand at some of the flying here in a bit. For more information on the fly-in happening here at the Southwest Area Park, you can log on to foxbaltimore.com slash morning. You can find directions there. In the meantime, guys, I'm going to go back to watching this fluorescent model. Check it out. Look, Steve. What? Very cool. That's not lightning. That's not lightning. That's I, a plane. I like that. And I, what I also like, Emily, is that your flight is never delayed. I know. That's, right? that's a good one, Steve. And they don't charge for baggage. Okay, here's what's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> here's what we got out there right now. We do have some showers. And even though... 7 o'clock hour, really get... all eyes to the sky. Some of the tricks you'll see at this weekend's remote control airplane festival. 6.57 is the time. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News. It's all local, all morning. PNC planes. The tricks these little guys can perform in the skies. And when you can watch them later in your hometown hotspot. 7.10 is the time. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News. It's all local, all morning. The Gracie model airplanes and helicopters are taking flight this weekend. It's all in celebration of a Fly-in, I'll tell you all about it coming up in today's hometown hotspot. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning. Discover the power of two. Flames go on each other. Always ready. Then you can be the pilot. Emily Gracie joins us for this morning's hometown hotspot, where she's doing, well, you may get your hand on a remote control, too, here in a little bit. Isn't that true, Emily? It is true. i got to get a little lesson first, though, Tom. But take a look. These guys are already taking a flight out there this morning. It is cleared out, and it's a beautiful morning for some model airplane flying and a helicopter flight. That helicopter is going backwards. All right, Bob, <laughs> tell me about what's happening here in Southwest Area Park this weekend. We're having a community fly-in for our club. This is a Baltimore County Park, so we invite the community to come out, see what we do, watch these demonstrations, also get a chance to fly themselves. We'll put you on a trainer with an instructor, and everybody can have a chance to fly themselves. Themselves. We're also raffling off a trainer plane so somebody could get a free membership to the club for a year together with the plane and also a wild aerobatic plane. Yeah, is that a wild aerobatic helicopter we're seeing right there? Yes, he's doing what they call 3D stunts. Uh, and this is Zach Burry, one of our younger helicopter pilots who's been flying since he was eight, five years old. All right, so you're saying that anybody can fly these, but how long are we talking a lesson uh, to kind of get to the point where you can get it in the air? Uh, well, it'll be up in the air, but you can let me fly two, three minutes at a time. You can work with me this morning, is that what you're saying? Absolutely. We look forward to getting you on a, it's called a buddy box. I'll have a box, you'll have a box. I push the button and say the plane is yours, and then you fly it. But just like driver's head, like, uh, you'll have the real steering wheel and the real brakes, right? We call it no-risk flying. All right, now tell me about the different planes, because they come in all shapes and sizes, too. All right, the planes here from a 12-inch wingspan to a 12-foot wingspan. There are aerobatic planes, there are scaled model planes, like Warbirds. Uh, there are just some fancy jets, made-up designs. Um, we actually will have a jet, real jet, uh, it's a model, but with a real jet engine out here this coming weekend. Wow. All right. So they go pretty high. That one's really high. How high is that? That's probably only about 100 feet up in the air. But the plane, a real plane. <laughs> that's, well, they are scaled versions of a real flying plane. Wow. All 
All right, my perspective's way off. For more information on the modelers flying here at Southwest Area Park this weekend, you can log on to boxbeltomorrow.com slash morning for a schedule of events and directions here to the park. But what a beautiful morning. Tom, look at that. Look at the sunrise. And then, of course, there's the upside-down helicopter. You don't see that every day. <laughs> no, you normally don't see that. I was, I was trying to see in the skies if there was the Red Baron. I was thinking about Snoopy flying the Red Baron there, Emily. Okay, we'll have to learn more about that reference later. <laughs> <laughs> the dive plane. All right. Well, thank you very much, Edward. Football fans, rejoice. The referee, well, lockout is over. The Our model airplanes are taking off this morning. I'll show you all the fun and take the controls myself coming up after the break. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning. Looking for the wildest car to fly, or you may not even know about Snoopy and the Red Baron fighting him. Well, don't worry. Anyone can learn how to operate a remote control airplane. And Emily Gracie joins us for this morning's hometown hotspot as she's zipping around. I can, every time we come back to you, that's all that goes through my mind is Snoopy. <laughs> But I'm sorry, that's, that has nothing that's to do with it. There's going to be YouTube clips of that later, Tom, because I have no idea what you're talking about. But you know what? I'm going to learn how to fly this morning. These guys assure me that I can do it. Art, I hate to bother you, but you you, you claim that I can I can fly this, right? Yep. We're going to let you fly on the trainer just like we're going to let folks when they come out this weekend and fly. All right. So show me how. Okay. Bob, you can give her the transmitter. All right. All right. Hold the mic for us there. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to give you the airplane once you get past the sun right here. All right. All right, you're out there, and right now you're flying. Give it a little bit of left. Oh, oh no. Okay. Back tick, back tick, back tick. I took it back. It's okay. <laughs> okay, do it again. Here you go. Just a little, little bit of left. A little bit of left. Not too much. Not too much. Okay. Back tick, back tick, back tick, back tick, back tick, back, tick, back to the right. Back to the right. Back to the right. There you go. There you go. You did your first turn. Yay. There we go. How high uh, up am I right now? Oh, probably about 150, 200 feet. Something like that. All right, so people can do this this weekend then. Yeah. I'm not yeah. doing anything. Is it? I'm still yeah. flying? You're yeah, flying right now. All right, I don't have to do anything? If you want to pull straight back on the stick, you can do a loop. Just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, oh look at that. that! There you go. You just did an acrobatic trick. There you go. Yay! Okay. All right, this is really scary, so I'm going to hand the controls back over here. All right, for more information on the event happening here in Southwest Park this weekend, you can log on to foxbaltimore.com. Slash morning, all of the information is there. Steve, did you see that? It was amazing. I'm I sure did. You looking at the clouds, though, you know, right? Yeah, <laughs> true. But I, you don't mind if I don't get on board until you have a few more hours under your belt. Uh, all right. right. I guess. But it looked good. I tell you, I was jealous. <laughs> Looks like fun. Take a look at what's happening out there right now. Thanks, Emily. Not a whole lot. It is a dry scan at this point. It wasn't earlier this morning. We did have some showers. Maybe. Yeah. You got to drink a little for that. <laughs> Going up next, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake is joining us live in studio to talk about a campaign for improving school attendance. And in our hometown hotspot, all eyes are to the sky. Some of the tricks you'll see at this weekend's remote control airplane festival. Emily Gracie's already been doing them since this morning, though. 8.49 is the time. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News. All local. All morning. We admit it. And I'm Emily Gracie, live at Southwest Area Park, where planes are taking flight. Model planes, that is. All of all the details on the festival happening this weekend. That's coming up in today's hometown hotspot. You're watching Fox 45. Good day, Baltimore. Now open. Learn the art of flying and then take flight this weekend. Emily Gracie joins us for this morning's hometown hotspot where she's been learning how to fly. And Emily, those planes are not cheap, so I'm a little nervous if I were to uh, start out there. I know, but if you didn't catch it, Tom, they actually had controls the whole time. They could have turned off my controls and taken control at any moment. So at no, at no point was I putting those planes in danger. But I want to show you before they take off. Take a look at the pilots inside the plane. They're ready to go because they are manned planes. All right, you guys ready to take off? To All right, let's go. So, Bob, we're going to see a lot more of this this weekend, right? Absolutely. Planes of all shapes and sizes, from 12-inch wingspan to 12-foot wingspan, and helicopters and jets as well. How hard is it to fly these things? Oh, it can be very easy if you're on a trainer, as, as you saw. It's harder than it looks, Bob. <laughs> uh, well, the bigger the planes, the, hard, the bigger they fall. All right, so what else is happening? There'll be people flying, but there's a lot of other activities for the families, right? Right. Well, we're doing demonstrations, but we also have hands-on, so anybody who wants to can try their hands on a trainer. We're raffling off a trainer as well, and also a wild aerobatic plane, and we'll have food available from our food stand. It's going to be a fun day for the family. And this is important because it raises money for you guys so that you can keep it coming out here and enjoying this all the time, right? That's correct. We maintain this facility. It's a Baltimore County park, but we maintain the facility 
and so it just helps pay cover our costs in doing that, as well as, as, well as just buying supplies and, and helping the kids with the trainers. All right, well, what a great thing to do for the community. We enjoy watching them. So come out here this Saturday, Southwest Area Park. For more information, you can log on to foxbaltimore.com slash morning. The directions are there. It is this weekend. Hopefully the rain will uh, hold off for a while because they do not fly in the rain. But you know what, guys? It's, it's funny to me because you look up and there's other real planes flying around. <laughs> and it's like kind of getting them confused because... The only difference is the tricks that are going on, really. <laughs> I, I like the the buzz the buzz of mm. going. I know, right? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, was that a real plane or yeah, was that, that one a real one? I, I, I can't tell. Those thing. are not the real thing now. Okay. So that Southwest flight was not doing a barrel roll right there. Okay. Mm, nope, that's not the way Southwest rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Emily. Steve, you're taking over. <laughs> the wise pack. Thanks, Emily. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> All right, you're going to be seeing a lot more of your model airplanes are taking off this morning. I'll show you all the fun and take the controls myself coming up after the break. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning. Looking for the wildest talk of